calls that create chaos. Hello, hello, hello. We shot three students in the classroom. False reports of shooters spreading through schools, colleges, and hospitals across the nation. I was teaching in the classroom. Then he picked up a gun and shot another student in the classroom. These fake calls placing officials on edge. What is swatting? Swatting is basically the action of making uh, hoax phone calls to falsely report serious crimes to emergency services and law enforcement. Dr. Christopher Mansour, co-founder of cybersecurity programs at Mercyhurst University, saying the ultimate goal of swatters is to get law enforcement agents to respond to a scene of a fabricated threat. They respond with all their tactics and their gears and uh, they want to protect citizens. Mansur adding the calls could unintentionally endanger lives. You have students, you have uh, professors, you have staff. Um, it could cause a little bit of a havoc or a, a kind of a real nerve-wracking incident. And sometimes it could lead to a deadly situation. In 2017, a police officer in Kansas shot and killed a man while responding to a false emergency call. The hoax calls could also stop response teams from answering real emergencies. Just this past weekend, universities and hospitals across the country becoming the latest targets. Fake calls of an active shooter at the University of Oklahoma. Reports of a person with an AR-15 forcing a lockdown at Sparrow Hospital in Lansing, Michigan. Calls sending police to the library at Middlebury College in Vermont and police responding to calls for active shooters on two locations at Boston University. False alarms that could also cause psychological consequences. number of people texted family members, I love you, I, I might not see you tonight. We still have staff and students that are um, still unpacking that, still dealing with, with the feelings that they had that day. This local superintendent in Cincinnati, Ohio, describing pandemonium at his school after someone called a 911 to report an active shooter early last month. Last week, swatting becoming a felony in Ohio, where violators could end up 18 months in prison. If someone gets hurt, violators could face years behind bars. Manzur says these callers use information collected through the action of doxing. The technique where Information that is available on social media, information that is available on organizational charts are collected and sold on the dark web or are available publicly. Manzur is saying there's a no clear answer as to why people do this, but he has an idea. They, they do that for prank or they do that sometimes for financial gain or for having a grudge or a revenge. The FBI says some of the fake reports may be computer generated calls coming from outside of the country. Senator Chuck Schumer announcing this week he plans to advocate adding $10 billion to the federal government's budget to fund a cyber swatting team at the FBI. Axel Tercios, Scripps News, New York City.